when I look at air today, compared to what it was when it was founded, it's, sometimes it's hard to believe. I envisioned this aircraft. It was a drawing on paper. It was a 3D model in simulation. And one day, it's, it's standing right in front of you at full scale. And the next day, it's actually hovering in the air. And you have this deja vu. Like, I've seen it before, but it was actually just a simulation. And then you realize that it's, it's really there, it's really happening, and sometimes it's, it's hard to believe. I told the, the team once that it's, it's, it's unbelievable in the sense that, you know, I, I had a lot of, let's call it, unique ideas over the years. And usually you have an idea, and you think about it, and you talk about it, and you laugh about it, and it goes away. And then one day this idea came, came along, and then a bunch of people comes along and build it. It's kind of funny for me, like, hey, you took me seriously. <laughs> and you actually made it happen, and it actually flies. Sometimes that is just too good to be true, but, but it is happening. When we started, we very soon realized that we need to set a DNA that is a DNA of a company that makes manned aircraft. We started off knowing that there are other applications, unmanned applications, and we kind of ignored them actually on purpose because it was important at the beginning to set this DNA of the company around the manned civilian ver version. Once the company matured enough, once most of the design was already in place and, and, and we started flying and, and and, and really also validate that need in the market for the cargo and defense applications, then at that point, we realized that we think that the DNA is set, that this would not change the company, this would not, this would not mutate the company in the way that people think and work in the company, and that we can actually branch out these applications using pretty much the same platform that was designed for the, the, the private civilian market, uh, using that also for unmanned cargo applications. The unmanned variants are actually already flying and we're beginning to deliver. So this is time to market for these application is a lot quicker. And this introduction of these aircraft so soon to the market also helps mature the, the platform, which will also serve demand applications uh, quicker, because we're gonna have quite a few uh, unmanned aircraft flying in different cargo missions in the very near future. The manned application have received a, a, an amazing boost this July with, uh, with the finalization of the Mosaic rule, which actually allows powered lift two-seat aircraft like the Air One to be certified as light sport aircraft, which is a, a much quicker and easier route to certify aircraft than full type certification, which was the only path available for uh, powered lift aircraft in the United States up until now.